Alright, so this is the Sony 24-105 f4 lens for Sony full frame. And let me tell you, I have been using this setup for pretty much everything. Uh, from street photography to travel videos and YouTube content for the past year. Now the reason I picked this up is because, you see, my first camera lens, which I bought almost a decade ago, was the Sony EZP. 18 to 105 millimeter f4 g for my old sony a6000 now some people say that hey you should stick to prime lenses and learn to zoom with your feet but that zoom lens really helped me capture some of my most all-time favorite shots so fast forward to now the sony 24 to 105 f4 g is like the full frame upgrade of that lens but for my sony a7 III setup and I was hoping for the same versatility and inspiration from it. And I want to share with you my experience with this lens and help you decide whether this is the right choice for you. Now, let's talk about the build quality of this lens. Um, I'd say it's pretty great, despite some people say that it feels a little bit plasticky and cheap for its price. But hey, it's got all the buttons, right? We have the AF, MF switch here, we have a uh, focus hold button and a button to switch the optical steady shot on and off, which is great. They really give it a pro look and feel. Now the zoom ring isn't the smoothest that I have used, especially compared to the Fujifilm 16 to 80 millimeter, but it's not like super sticky either. It just feels a little bit stiff. So don't expect any silky smooth zoom shots from this lens. Though on the flip side, the focus ring feels very smooth. But I don't really use it that much because I just put it on autofocus anyway whenever I'm shooting. And yet the lens hood is also plastic, but it does the job and helps keep the um, overall weight of the lens down. Overall, it's mostly plastic construction, but it feels very solid in my hand, probably because it feels a bit heavy at 660 gram. I mean, imagine if this lens is full metal, which would be super heavy, so I'm okay with the plastic. Now let's get to what I love about this lens. The first thing is the uh, versatility. I love this lens because it's so versatile. I'm on a tight budget and I needed something that could handle a bit of everything without breaking the bank. And this lens does just that. It covers all the bases. Whether I'm making wide shots of landscape at a 24 millimeter or zooming in for the extra details uh, in close up shots, it's got me covered. And when I'm making videos for my YouTube channel, it's great to have lens that can adapt to different situations. I usually stick around 15 millimeter for the good framing of the video. Now some people have said that this lens isn't the sharpest, but honestly I haven't had any issue with it. And sure it may not be the top of the line quality, but it gets the job done for me and the photos always come out clear and detailed, uh, which is all I needed. The autofocus of this lens is very impressive. It's super quick and accurate um, for how old my camera body is and how old this lens is, which is great for capturing those spontaneous moments. And when it comes to shooting videos, the stabilization is definitely a game changer. It keeps everything looking smooth and professional, uh, even when I'm on the move. But what I like to do is I like to add the extra stabilization in the post production because it, it does get shaky sometimes. So all in all, I definitely recommend the Sony 24-105 f4G lens. It's been a reliable companion for all my photography and videography needs. If you found this review helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Sony 24-105mm f4 lens in the comments below. Do you think it could be your go-to lens as well? And I will see you in the next video.